Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy from Trucking the Planet. Today we're about 20 miles or 30 kilometers outside the city of Budapest, Hungary. We are visiting the Royal Palace of Godolo in the city of the same name. We'll be joined by Cynthia in a few minutes, who's going to show us around. Hi, Cynthia. I'm Sandy. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. So Cynthia, um, can you go ahead and tell us a little bit about what we're going to see, something about this palace, a little bit about its history? Of course. At first, just a few words about the history of the building. So now we are in the largest Baroque palace of Hungary. The Baroque style was in the 18th century here in Hungary. And Grosjákovic the first began the constructions of this mansion in 1733. Then his son and his grandson, they continued the constructions. Grosjákovic the second constructed a beautiful Baroque theatre, which we're going to visit. Yes. And the grandson, Grosjákovic the third, constructed a beautiful Baroque uh, spa or a marble bath and a nice orangery or an orange house. So he finished the constructions of this building in the beginning of the 19th century. But the male line of this family died out in 1841. And after this time, the palace had several owners. Mm -hmm. For example, a Greek banker family called Shina family. Mm -hmm. And later, the palace was sold to a Belgian bank for 10 years. But the second golden era of the palace came in 1867, when the Hungarian state gave this palace as a coronational present to French Joseph and of Queen Elizabeth. The royal family spent here several weeks, full months mm -hmm. in the palace, and this palace was called as the home of the family, because they could live here absolutely free, like a normal family. Uh -huh. So this palace was the favorite summer residence of Queen Elizabeth, and she spent here more than 2,000 days. Oh, wow. She spent here much more time than in Vienna. Mm -hmm. um, after the death of Elizabeth, after 1898, French Joseph visited the palace on a, a few times. His last visit was in 1911. Mm -hmm. After French Joseph of Queen Elizabeth, um, the last king of Hungary, he was Charles IV. He also got this palace as a summer residence, but he spent here just a few days. Mm -hmm. He came for hunting, for example. Uh -huh. After the royal period, um, because in 1918, the Austro-Hungarian monarchy collapsed. Yes. And after that period, it was a very different and a very difficult political situation here in Hungary. So it was uh, still a kingdom here in Hungary, but without a king. Mm. So it was very interesting and very difficult. And that was the period of Regent Horthy, Miklós Horthy. He was the head of the state from 1920 until 1944. Mm -hmm. And he also got this palace as a summer residence, but they spent here a lot of times each summer and spring. Huh. So the, from the years of the 50s, this palace served as a home for elderly people, so this was a social welfare oh, home. Wow. And in the same time, the Russian soldiers lived here from 1945 until 1991. Mm -hmm. So it was the summer of 91 when everybody left the building and the renovations began. The palace museum itself opened in 1996, only with eight rooms, but now Nowadays we have 32 rooms to oh, visit. Oh, 32, wow. Yes. So we're going to visit the royal apartments, okay. the apartment of French Joseph and of Queen Elizabeth. We have a small and beautiful Baroque exhibition about the first owner of this building with a beautiful view to the Catholic chapel. Okay. So if you're ready, we can start yeah. the tour. Sounds great. Thanks. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Check back later for more updates. Thanks.